here now, Pete Hegseth, co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend, also an Iraq and Afghanistan war veteran who served as a prison guard at Guantanamo Bay. Pete, good to see you tonight. On, um, hey, Martha. A lot of questions, obviously. I, I mean, you know, how, well, he's, he's out in less than 20 years if he's going to be out this May. Um, how did he acquire Irish citizenship in prison? And, you know, obviously he still is, is, is a concern. He's still a national security concern. First of all, what are the what are the Irish doing? Why in the world would you take this man in? Do you say he has a passport, so you have to let him in? Are you not an ally as part of Western civilization, a recognition that radical Islam is at war with us? And if we if we put if we captured him and put him in prison, and he is still holds allegiance to Al Qaeda and ISIS, then we are as foolish as we were on September 10th, 2001, as a government, as a country, and as a civilization. We're in a long war against Islamism, violent and political in scope. They, they see this as warfare, and we see it as lawfare, and we are foolish as a result. If we can't put this guy away for life, try him for treason or execute him eventually, we are, we are welcoming even more in the future from him because he will go back as a celebrity to our enemies. I mean, what does this say about, about the ability to accurately prosecute people who were involved in uh, what happened on September 11th or sympathizers as, as he clearly was with that, with that? You know, you look at what's going on in Guantanamo Bay, it's like, you know, there, there's mm -hmm. nothing, right? There's no, nothing. None, none of these it's... cases have moved forward after all of these years. So how did, you know, what are your thoughts on that, having served down there? Listen, we're, we're fighting by old rules of war. I really believe that. We're fighting by an antiquated system of law that where our enemies used to wear uniforms and play by some semblance of, of, of uh, law, rules of law, uh, recognized as prisoners of war. Of course, radical Islamists do none of that. They chop off heads, they execute, they use women and children as shields, they murder our people in 10 seconds, yet we afford them Geneva rights. Yet we give them better health care than a lot of my guys and food than my guys got at Guantanamo Bay when they were guards. And I'm not joking about that. I was down there and I saw it. We bend over backwards while they knife us in the throat. And either we get serious about this, which I don't think we are generally as a country. I mean, the left today is more obsessed about global climate change than they are about the threat uh, of radical Islam. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't believe my government is effectively taking this seriously, except the Trump administration, which I know is taking it seriously. But still, our systems are, are, are gunked yeah. up by lawyers well, who defend these dirtbags and I mean, give them rights under I, our constitution, I remember when, which we when, should uh, never be afforded. When John, Johnny Michael Spann was killed in that horrific uh, outburst that happened at that, at that prison that they were being held at. And I can't believe that I'm living to see the day when John Walker Lynn is going to walk out of that Release. prison. It's, it's, it Release. seems like yesterday. Um, it's Pete a microcosm of what we faced as platoon leaders or, or guys on the ground when you would release people because it was CSI on, in combat and you didn't have the evidence. So you release them and you know, they're coming back yeah. to the battlefield. This is the same thing on a bigger scale and it boils the blood of guys that have been there. Pete, thank you. Pete Hexeth. Thank you.